So given a parametric equation or an elliptical surface, rs of t equals 3s cos t, 4s sin t, s squared, find an implicit representation of this surface. Okay, so the key is to note that this is the r vector, so that's our position vector. So that's given as rs of t is equal to x is a function of s of t, y is a function of s and t, and z is a function of s and t. Okay, so that means x is equal to 3s cos t, y is equal to 4s sin t, and z is equal to s squared. So let's rewrite the first and the second one. Okay, so let's rewrite it as x on 3 is equal to s cos t, and y on 4 is equal to s sin t. So I know something about cosine and sine. If I square and add them, then they add up to 1. So I'm going to use that. So x on 3 all squared is equal to s squared cos squared t. And y on 4 all squared is equal to s squared sine squared t. So I'm going to add them up. So I have x on 3 all squared plus y on 4 all squared is equal to s squared cos squared t plus s squared sine squared t. Okay, so factor out s squared and I've got cos squared t plus sine squared t. So we know that cos squared t plus sine squared, squared t is equal to 1, so we're just left with s squared. And on the left hand side, I have x squared on 9 plus y squared on 16. So if we go back to the parameterization, z is equal to s squared, and that is our right hand side. So we end up with the equation x squared on 9 plus y squared on 16 is equal to z. Unfortunately, that is the equation of an elliptical surface. Okay, so that is how we find the implicit representation from the parametric representation, making appropriate manipulating the parameters of x and y such that it becomes a function of z.